Um, yeah, I finally decided to quit being lazy and uh, get back to work on this computer. Um, yes, I want to remove I'm a bit depressed today, actually a great deal depressed. Um, just a whole bunch of reasons all put together, one of which is that is my late friend L.D. Oliphant, one of the best friends I've ever had in my life. Um, He was my personal attorney, but he was also, like I said, one of the best friends I've ever had in my life. Um, D was far more than just a lawyer. Um, I'm going to uninstall. Yes, I want to uninstall it. Hang on a minute, folks. roll back into the picture here me read a few things about D to you um, hopefully this is the last one I'll have to do for a minute I'm reading off of his obituary. L.D. Oliphant was born July 6th, 1939 in Joplin, Missouri to parents Howard Z. and Rosie, parentheses, Wampler, Oliphant. So he was born in Missouri, not Oklahoma. L.D. graduated from Norman High School in 1957. He attended the University of Oklahoma with a dual major in marketing and a minor in economics. 1957-1961, University of Oklahoma College of Law. 1963-1966, to the University of Virginia Judge Advocate General Corps Advanced Course, 1970-1971. He worked as a law clerk for the Court of Appeals, State of Oklahoma, 1974 to 75, and HO Energy Management, 1978 to 1987. Just a second. He was a self-employed attorney from 1987 until his passing. Now here's the stuff that's important, and this is the D I knew, other than a lawyer. L.D. was a proud veteran. He served in the U.S. Army Judge Advocate General Corps and retired with the rank of Lieutenant Colonel. 1966 to 1972 and the Army National Guard, Judge Advocate General Corps. 1972 to 1979. He was also a Green Beret. He was a Vietnam veteran who received, who received the Bronze Star Air Medal, Air Commendation Medal with the 1st Oak Leaf Cluster 
National Defense Service Medal, Vietnam Service Medal, Republic of Vietnam Commendation Medal, Vietnam Cross of Gallantry with Palm, Oklahoma Meritorious Service Medal, Oklahoma Commendation Medal, Overseas Service Bar, Parachute Badge, Senior Parachute Badge, Master Parachute Badge, and Expert Marksman Badge, Rifle and Pistol. LD had aviation ratings for commercial pilot, airplane single, and multi-engine, and helicopter. He enjoyed farming and loved animals. I have sent my condolences to Missy. Hang on, i got to turn this other light off. adventures together and I'm not going to say any more than that on it uh, in all the years of D being an attorney both civilian and military he only lost two cases two out of all those years now that is not just a phenomenal record, it is a miraculous record. The man was trustworthy to a fault, honest to a fault, brave to a fault, and he was my friend and my brother, and I miss him really bad. And his passing is one of the reasons I'm really depressed. It's like a portion of my life died with him. I'd known Dee for a long time, longer than I knew my wife. I'd, uh, very few men have I ever looked up to. Dee was one of the few. Um, I loved D. Anybody that ever got to know him real well and closely loved D. There wasn't anything not to love. His uh, funeral is March 24th in Elgin, Oklahoma at the Fort Sill National Cemetery and I'm going to try to make it. Um, that's almost two months away. I'm, if at all possible, I will go. I've got so much on my plate right now and so many things are taking my time up. I've uh, due to my errant behavior partially due to things I used to have to do for a living partially and due to a few other things I live in a great deal of physical pain constantly um, my wife had a small talk with me and I offend people. I don't mean to. I offend my loved ones. I don't mean to. Um, today, the pain is brutal. It really is and I've taken medication for it. It's not helping. Um, I think it's significant also that March 24th is 
Dee's funeral because March 24th is the anniversary date of when I married the biggest blessing and the greatest gift I've ever had in my life and that is my wife. Unless you've ever loved a woman with that intensity, you don't understand what that is. And uh, she completes me. If it weren't for my wife, I would be dead right now. And I absolutely know that to be true. The love she gives me, the help she gives me, the attention she gives me, and I'm not talking about being some little kid. Hey, I want mommy. I'm talking about being attentive. The kindness she extends to me. That all, it makes my life endurable. Yes, I am greatly blessed. I have more blessings than any human being I know. But the flip side of that is, I have a rougher existence than a lot of people I know. Not complaining, just saying that I have an overly full plate. Things are trying to spill over the lip of the plate, and I'm trying to keep that from happening. Now, I'm sorry for a little bit of a somber update vlog today, but it's better than not doing one at all. Um, if I weren't doing this right here right now, I'd be sitting over there doing the vlog, but... I am literally attending to business and hopefully it gets done. Well folks, if you're watching this, know this, that I do love you with my whole heart. You might not believe that, but it's absolutely true. I try to love everybody and one of the people I loved with an intensity has gone on and i absolutely believe he's with his sweetheart, his soulmate right now. Dee lasted five years after Nancy died. Linda died, I wouldn't make it that long. I wouldn't even make it a year. I'd just die of a broken heart. And I believe that's why the Lord God Almighty is keeping her around. I'm being conditioned I'm being conditioned to be a better person, to love more, to love better, to be kinder, because that's not who I am in the natural, and that's not who most people are in the natural. So what you need to do is count your blessings. Absolutely trust God. And if you don't trust God or if you don't believe in God, you need to learn to believe and trust in God. That is absolutely a true statement I just made. He's real. He's there. He loves you. He created you, and you need a relationship with Him. Now, I've got to get off of here. I've got to finish this stupid computer. Um... It took me a while to get over to working on it, and now that I am, I'm going to finish because I don't want to have to do it again tomorrow. Love all of you. God bless you. Like the sign up there says, be kind. Bye.